Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the top 10 best performing countries in Miss Universe pageant. As usual, we will be looking back at the latest 10 editions of the pageant which will run from 2010 to 2019. I'm actually very excited to make this one because the last 10 editions is composed of five editions from the Trump era while the latest five comes from the IMG era. So we will be witnessing how the last five years of the Trump era has shown, will be showing their top 10 performing countries and we will witness how the IMG changed the playing field for many many countries now the point system will be the same for everybody else the winner will get 10 points the first runner-up will get eight points second runner-up will get seven points and the top five or top six finisher gets five points and then the next cut after that regardless of how many they are gets three points Next cut after that gets two points. If there's another cut, they'll get one point. But if there's some more cut, they'll receive nothing. Now for the status that you'll be seeing later, blue means the rank has increased or, or has improved. Red means their rank has dropped. While yellow means their rank remained the same. Now, let's begin with the 2010 edition. The winner was Mexico's Jimena Navarrete. And here's the official result. And because of that, here are the points received by them. Let's make it more exciting. Now let's proceed to Miss Universe 2011. The winner of 2011 edition is Angola's Leila Lopez. And here's the official result. And based on that, here is the most updated ranking. So as what you can see, Ukraine's placement as first runner-up allowed them to take the first spot. Angola's victory also gave them the second position. Philippines' fourth place finish let them stay on the fifth spot while Brazil, China, and France, who also placed, got their placements improved. Moving on to 2012, the winner was USA's Olivia Culpo. And here's the official result. And because of that, here is the updated ranking. So as what you noticed, USA's victory helped them settle at 5th place, while Philippines' second place finish allowed them to take over the first spot from Ukraine, who dropped to 5th place. Mexico, who finished in the top 10, has stayed at 3rd spot, while Australia, Brazil, and Venezuela also improved their ranking. Now moving on to 2013, the winner of Miss Universe 2013 was Venezuela's Gabriela Isler. And here's the official result. And because of that, here is the updated ranking. And as what you can see, Venezuela's victory made them skyrocket to second place, while Philippines, who finished fourth place, let them earn enough points to stay at number one. Brazil, who finished fifth in the pageant, also went up to third place. Ukraine and USA, who are both top 10 finisher, stayed at the same rank, while Spain, who finished second, finally enters the top 10, finishing at number 9. And let's proceed to 2014. The winner and the last winner of the Trump era was Colombia's Paulina Vega. And here's the official result. And because of that, here is the updated ranking. Colombia, who won this year, enters the top 10, finishing at 7th place. While Philippines' top 10 placement is still enough to let them stay on the top spot, USA's second place finish allowed them to settle at second spot. Also, Jamaica, who finished 5th, let them bounce back up to the 9th position. And here we are to 2015. We will see how the IMG era made some changes in the flow of the pageant. If you 
if you have witnessed and seen the late the updated top 10 the last of the trump era we will see how it all changed by the img so for 2015 the winner who was philippines p alonzo works back and here's the official result and because of that here is the updated ranking well, Philippines was already leading the list, and because of that victory, that allowed them to take the lead even more and extending the lead. Well, USA's third place finish allowed them to take over the second spot. Colombia's second place finish helped them rise in the ranking and is now at number six. Venezuela, who finished in the top 10, is now enjoying the third position. Australia and France, who both finished in the top 5, has also improved their ranking. Now, let's feel more of the IMG era and move on to 2016. The winner was France's Iris Mitina, and here's the official result. And because of that, here is the updated ranking. Well, France's victory let them jump into 5th place and dropping many countries under it in the ranking. Philippines, USA, and Jamaica stayed in the same ranking, while Colombia keep on rising in the ranking while IMG took over and they are now at 3rd place. Moving on to 2017. The winner was South Africa's Demi Lane L. Peters and here's the official result. And because of that, here's the updated ranking. And sadly, South Africa's victory and earned points isn't enough to let them enter the top 10, while Philippines, Venezuela, and Australia stayed in the same rank after earning some points. Colombia again, benefiting from the IMG era and from the placement of their country, and is now at second place. Brazil and Jamaica, who also are Brazil and Jamaica also improved their ranking and if you noticed ukraine who suddenly failed under img era keeps on dropping dropping down moving on to 2018 the winner was philippines catriona gray and here's the official result and because of that here is the updated ranking and as usual Philippines' victory just let them keep a wide gap of lead against other countries. And finally, South Africa's second place let them jump back into the sixth spot, dropping everybody else. While Colombia's non-placement gave USA a chance to take over the second spot. And finally, moving on to the most recent edition, the winner of Miss Universe 2019 is South Africa, Zazibini Tunzi, and here's the official result. And based on that, here's the top 10 best performing countries for the latest 10 editions of the Miss Universe theme pageant. Number 10, Ukraine. IMG's lead of the pageant has completely change the game for Ukraine as we witnessed how they keep on dropping their rank so if this continues we might see them leave the top 10 very very soon ninth place Mexico thanks to Sofia Aragon's third place finish this year because she brought her country back into the top 10 finishing at number nine number eight Australia they did not get the placement this year, but they still managed to stay at the same rank. 7th place, France. Their top 10 finish has also let them keep their ranking at number 7. 6th place, Brazil. Sadly for Brazil, the points that they earned after their top 20 finish this year still resulted to a drop of placement. So hoping to see them earn some more points. In the next years in the, in the next editions to come fifth place south africa and we have seen the rise of south africa in img and with their recent victory they are now up number five and expect that to keep on rising fourth place venezuela good thing that venezuela plays the top 20 this year because her earned points are enough to keep their country at fourth place number three 
United States, which is kind of unbelievable. Although Chesley gave her country this year a great top 10 finish, sadly, competing closely with Colombia and seeing them went higher allowed them to be taken over and resulted to their dropping of position to third place. Second place, Colombia. This is such a wind of change. We don't see Colombia doing that well in the latest five editions of Trump era, except of course for the victory of Polina Vega in 2014. But the IMG era certainly changed the game for Colombia and here they are enjoying the second best performing country of the latest 10 edition of the Miss Universe pageant. And the best performing countries for the latest 10 edition is the Philippines. And this is not a surprise, knowing that they placed for 10 years in a row. So that's kudos to everyone in the organization. And we may hear some news that Miss Universe Philippines will be under Shamsi Soup Soup now and will be leaving the original organization. We still wish them luck. And hopefully they can continue the strike of the pageant or could even bring some more glory to the Philippine pride. Every year, they are earning enough points and with that huge lead, I don't think they'll be dropping of the top spot anytime soon. And that's it. Here are the updated ranking and points based on the latest edition. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below, don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well and most importantly don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.